Okay, just wanted to post an update on this uh, jewel ringer circuit. What I've got here is I've got one uh, 32,000 microfarad uh, 20 volt capacitor here. And then I've got my uh, regular bifurcator wound coil that you see in the schematic. Instead of leaking diodes, I have a pot. This is my little test board uh, built according to the schematic. I've got five CFLs here and 80 uh, LEDs all running on this uh, one capacitor. So that's obviously exciting to me to be making that kind of progress. Um, I've had a lot of questions on these bifurcator wound coils. Um, I'm using this one here. This is one of the first ones I use. I really don't think there's anything that crucial to them as long as they're big enough. This little guy worked. Um, this guy worked fine. This is a bigger, larger, fatter one with more layers. It worked. There's subtle differences in the way they work, but it's not like you're going to really go wrong. It's more a matter of tuning. Now, one thing I will point out, this one was one of my smaller ones that I've gotten to work. You get much smaller than this. I don't mean just in size, but in numbers of winds and layers. Uh, it probably won't have success. If you have a larger one, you can actually get away with just one layer of windings. All right, so that's this coil. I'm sure you're all going to have questions about this coil here. This coil is um, a test coil that I've wound. It's got it's just like this coil, it just has multiple layers and different thicknesses of wire. And that allows me to clip into it in different places and test. And that's been really useful for uh, prototyping this circuit and getting it working like you see here. So that's what that's about. Um, I Now I've got this hooked up in an interesting way with the CFLs and the way the LEDs run through and then this coil is actually hooked in as part of the output from this circuit. So I'm, I know there'll be requests for a schematic on that. I will get to that point. Um, not trying to hide anything from anybody on that. I just need to, uh, to get around to drawing up a schematic on it. It is possible to get the coil to work with, I mean to get this circuit to work lighting all of this without this coil. But I had too much trouble with the transformer arcing. I actually burnt out two transformers, um, popped resistors, all kinds of stuff. I found that when I put a bifurcator coil as part of the output, I was able to just get this thing to run really nice, quiet, and smoothly at higher volts uh, with none of those issues that I just explained. So um, let me think here. One other thing I guess I'll do in the video. I will, one of the things I love about the circuit is how easy it is to, uh, to re-energize. You can see here the lights got a little brighter. But yeah, I, I still want to explore the idea of something that either using solar to charge this or something that just uh, spikes a little current in it every once in a while. And uh, I really think that will be interesting. And then uh, one other thing I want to do in this video is just show you guys, it'll run a long time in this configuration. If I remember right, on the test I did it was uh, well over five minutes. And that's uh, running it pretty hot here. I'm not dimming it down very much. But what I want to show you now is how I can uh, crank this circuit up in intensity. And uh, this will be the remaining part of this video. You can see I've really cranked these lights up here in intensity. The LEDs are nice and bright. So again, I'm just really impressed that I can get this intensity of light with a, a 32,000 UF 20 volt capacitor. No batteries or anything else. Uh, let's crank it up some more here. See, we're really getting some light. We're going to suck this uh, capacitor dry here. And look at that, folks. This is one of the things that got me excited. Uh, I burnt out a couple of the LEDs here. I could be running more CFLs and more LED streams on this without any trouble. You can see it's dimming out here. I'm going to just go ahead and crank it up all the way and drain this capacitor out. There it goes. That's it, folks. So yeah, let's keep experimenting. I will uh, provide an uh, updated schematic as to where I have this coil. I could give a quick explanation, I suppose. I've got these CFLs uh, run, running parallel. I've taken uh, what would normally return to your negative lead. I've run it over here through the LEDs. And then I've run it into one side of the bifilar winding. I've connected to uh, one of the other windings on this test coil. Although most bifilar wound coils, you could just connect to the other winding and then back to your negative lead. You don't actually have to short the uh, 
the other ends of the bifurcator wound coil to make this work. Although you can, I've had it working both ways. And then, um, so yeah, anyway, I'm still exploring uh, these concepts and this setup, but just wanted to post an update. So yeah, let's keep experimenting.